Hey, welcome to the Event Answer Studio. Today I want to show you how to put together this balloon pacifier centerpiece. It's a beautiful addition for a baby shower or as a gift for your mother to be. So follow along and I'll show you exactly how to make this. So to start off, we first need to make a base and that base is going to be made from a 12 inch cardboard circle. I'm using a cake board today because these are cut perfectly round and this one even has a gold foil finish already on it. To this, I'll be attaching a 3 16 dowel rod using a balloon stick cup. And this is something you can buy in a bag of balloon sticks, but this will be a great support for our dowel rod and that 3 16 fits just on the inside of it, nice and snug. Now, before we can secure these together, I'm first gonna apply a coat of gold paint to the entire length of my dowel rod, as that will help it blend in with the overall design. While I wait for the paint to dry, I'm gonna pull out my hot glue gun and secure the balloon stick cup to the very center of my cardboard circle. Apply a generous amount of hot glue to the wide end of the balloon cup and stick it right in the middle. The important thing here is to make sure that balloon cup is standing nice and straight. Once the paint dried on my dowel rod, I then made a mark on it 24 inches in from one end. I'm just going to cut this to length with a pair of scissors before inserting it right into the center of my balloon cup. Now I found that when I make these designs, people like to grab the design by this dowel rod. Now it can pop out of this cup, so to help prevent that from happening, I'm going to put an extra layer of hot glue right on the joint where those two meet. Now we can start inflating balloons for our base, and I'm going to inflate 8 of these 7 inch chrome gold balloons to 6 pumps of air each before I tie them off. Once I've got all of those inflated, I'm then going to tie them together into quads. So first we need to make a pair, and to do that I'm going to take 2 balloons, wrap the nozzles around twice, and tie them together into a knot. Once I've got all of my chrome gold balloons tied into pairs, I'm going to bring 2 of those together so that they overlap with the nozzles touching right in the center, and twist 1 balloon from each pair around it to secure it together into a quad. So go ahead and repeat this with your other chrome gold balloons. So we've got two chrome gold quads, and then we're gonna do this one more time by inflating eight of these five inch pink balloons to four pumps of air each before also tying these all into quads. So in the end, we're gonna have two gold quads and two pink quads ready to attach to our base. Starting with the larger gold quads, I'm going to slide the quad around the center dowel rod, making sure that dowel rod is touching the nozzles of our quad. Then I'm going to take the two balloons with the dowel rod in between them and twist them around each other, and this will secure the quad to our base. Then I'm just going to press those down so they sit nice and flat on the cardboard. On top of that, we're going to take our first pink quad and attach it in the exact same way, making sure that the balloons in this quad nestle in between two balloons of the quad below it. Moving up to the other end of the dowel rod, I'm going to slip my second gold quad right at the very end of that, making sure I keep my fingers on the tippy end of that rod so the balloons don't pop off the end. Now it may look a little crooked when you first attach that quad, but once you get the pink quad attached underneath it and snug the two of them together, it'll all level out. The important thing here is to also make sure your pink balloon is sitting right between two of the gold balloons. I'm going to add a bit more embellishment to this base by creating a string of bubbles with this chrome gold 260 balloon. Now I'm going to inflate this to 6 or 7 pumps of air and then I'm going to let a tiny bit of that air out so the balloon is nice and soft before tying it off. I'm then going to insert the nozzle end right into the center of the pink balloons of our base and I'll secure that in place by just taking the nozzle of the 260 balloon and wrapping it around one of the pink balloons in the base, making sure that 260 stays right in the center. Now we need to make a series of bubbles that are about one inch in length or two finger widths. So once you've measured that out, you're going to pinch the balloon and twist it around a couple of times. Now because we've tied one end of this down into the base, it's not going to unravel on us from that side. But you always always want to hold on to the tail end of the balloon because if we let go of this, it's all going to untwist. As I continue to make bubbles, I want to try and keep them about the same size. So as you make your twist, if you find that it's a little too big or a little too small, you can always untwist that bubble, readjust the size, and twist it again. Continue to make bubbles until you've got a long enough chain to wrap around your central dowel rod a couple times and have that chain reach the pink balloons on top. The actual number of bubbles you make will vary from design to design, so just do it until you're pleased with the overall aesthetic. Once you've reached that number, hold on to that last bubble with one hand, and then you're going to grab the very tip end of the tail and nip it gently with a pair of scissors so that the air slowly releases from the remainder of the balloon. Once you've got all the air out of the end, we're going to tie a knot right 
right next to that last bubble and leave any remaining tail attached to the chain as we'll use that to secure our bubble chain to the top of the design. So go ahead and wrap your chain around the dowel rod a couple times and then take the very last bubble and nestle it right up against the nozzles of that top pink quad. While you hold the bubble in place, take the tail and wrap it snugly around a couple of balloons on the top side of our design. And now that we've got our base ready to go, we can finally work on assembling the binky part of this display. The body of the pacifier is made from a 24 inch bubble balloon and we first need to prep this balloon by stretching out the plastic. So stretch across the center point, rotate the balloon and stretch again until you get all the way around the balloon and it looks really wrinkly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fully inflate this bubble to not only stretch it out but also see what shape the bubble balloon is because these aren't always perfectly spherical. So if it's a little oblong, once you've got it inflated, you can press on the sides that are a little longer to help force it into a rounder shape. The final preparation I like to do to my bubble balloons is trim down the nozzle to about two inches in length. And by rolling this around so that the seams of that nozzle are on top of each other and cutting across, it'll make it much easier to open up this nozzle and stuff our balloons inside. Another tip that makes the balloon stuffing process easier is using a balloon stick to insert the 5 inch balloons up into the bubble. So slip the balloon stick inside the 5 inch balloon and then use that to insert the 5 inch inside the bubble until the nozzles of both balloons are aligned with each other. Then I'm going to hold on to that 5 inch balloon inside the bubble and inflate it to two pumps of air. Now without letting go of that nozzle, I'm going to pull the 5 inch nozzle outside of the bubble as much as possible and tie tie a knot really close to the body of that balloon. Before I let go of that nozzle, I want to take a pair of scissors and trim away all the excess nozzle past the knot that I tied, as this just gives me a much cleaner look for my balloons on the inside of the bubble. So go ahead and repeat this step until you can't fit any more 5 inch balloons inside the bubble. Once we reach this point, we need to add air to our bubble to create more room for our five inch balloons. Now it doesn't matter what the overall size of the bubble is at any given point, as air will escape from the bubble as we insert the five inch balloons. So don't worry about how it changes. We just wanna make it easier on ourselves to continue inserting those five inch balloons. In total, I stuffed 20 five inch balloons inside my bubble, but you could add as many or as few of these five inch balloons as you'd like. Now, once you've got all of them inside the bubble, it's time to inflate it for the final time. But before we add the air, I'm gonna prep a 260 balloon by removing all the air out of that balloon and tying a knot at the very end, as I'll be using this 260 to tie off the nozzle of the bubble balloon. Now we can inflate our bubble to its final size and then while I'm holding on to that nozzle I'm going to twist the balloon around a couple times and then I'll lay that empty 260 right against that twist, pinch the two of those together with one hand and stretch out one tail of that 260 really tight, wrap it around the balloon a couple times, then I'm going to stretch the other tail out, wrap it around the other direction a couple times before tying a double knot. Not only will this give us a tight seal on our bubble, but the tails of this 260 balloon will give us a way to attach our bubble to the base of our arrangement. To do that, I'm first going to center the bubble right in the middle of the gold quad on the top of our base, and then I'm going to stretch out the ends of that 260 and wrap them in a figure eight pattern around a couple of the balloons of that base, trying to keep a nice even tension between the two tails. Then once you've wrapped around a couple times, just let them go and they'll disappear into the inside of the arrangement. Next, we need to make the handle for our pacifier. And I'm going to inflate this gold 260 to six pumps of air before tying it off. Then I'm going to take the nozzle and the tail and tie the two of them together so I create a ring. Now, if you want your pacifier handle to be rounded, you could leave this balloon as is, but I want mine to be more triangular in shape. So I'm going to stand it upright and then put my thumbs on the inside of that ring and pull outwards and down. And this is going to put a crimp in the balloon and give it those soft angles. Now, if you want those angles to be a little sharper you can always pinch the balloon and accentuate that. Next I'm going to attach the ring to a set of quads. Now you're going to make this quad just like you did all the others only these balloons are inflated to two pumps of air each. Nestle the nozzle end of the loop down against the nozzles of our quad making sure that the loop is aligned between two of those balloons and really snug. Then I'm going to take the tail end of our loop and wrap it around a couple of the balloons of that quad, wrap it through the loop, and then any remaining tail that's left over you can tuck to the underside of the quad or you can trim it away with a pair of scissors. 
To join the handle to our bubble balloon, I'm going to be using a couple of these glue dashes. And I'll just stick one glue dash on the bottom of each of these balloons and use that to bring the two pieces together. I'm going to place the loop on the lower third of the bubble and orient that loop so it's facing the front of the arrangement. You could also rotate the loop so it faces upwards, it's just a matter of personal preference on how you want it to face. To help me make sure that loop is nice and upright, I'm going to align it with the seam of my bubble balloon. So now it's just a matter of removing the paper backing of the glue dots, aligning it with that seam on the bubble balloon, and sticking it in place. Make sure you hold it for a few seconds so it has a chance to adhere. And then we just need to make some minor adjustments so everything stands nice and straight. Because the handle of the pacifier is on one side of the arrangement, it may tilt the entire arrangement to that side. And to offset it, just wedge the first bubble of your balloon chain on that side of the dowel rod and it should straighten everything out. If you enjoyed this arrangement, you should check out this baby shower video next. So until the next project, remember, stay creative everybody. Bye!